Hey everybody, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com and today I want to talk to you about Keras Customs. Keras Customs is a brand uh, pen maker that is based out of Arizona, so it's all US made and it's something that we recently picked up here at Goulet Pens. They've actually been around for a little while. They started in 2008 where Bill Keras, that's where the name comes from, it's not Kara Possessive S, there is no Kara, it's Bill Keras. He was a machinist and started a machine shop. Um, started out making all kinds of stuff, you know, parts and pieces here and there, just kind of specialized piece work. Then got into making um, cell phone cases and various types of uh, Kickstarter type projects. Um, and Dan Bishop, who was his first employee, uh, was an industrial designer and basically a product designer and was kind of, you know, American dream kind of story, just like coming up with various products, trying to make a business work. I can totally relate to that because that's kind of how we started with our company back when I was in my pen making days and whatnot. But uh, basically they were looking for ways to have a viable business. So they got into uh, pens. They saw, um, you know, because Dan was a designer and would use pens with the Pilot High Tech C, for those of you who are kind of fans of, of that refill, you know what that's all about. Um, they saw a pen called the Pen Type A, which I have no affiliation with, just giving them a plug, but um, it's a pen that was kind of designed as a Kickstarter around that refill. Um, Dan was kind of inspired by that and wanted to design his own design to fit that refill as well. So they came up with the Render K. That was their first Kickstarter project they did back in late 2011, early 2012, and it was a successful Kickstarter, and that's kind of what got them going on the pen thing. So they've actually come out with several more kind of ballpoint pens, but then they started to come out with a couple of fountain fountain pens. So in 2013 they came out with the ink which was their first fountain pen and now they also have the fountain K. But when they came out with the ink they did this Kickstarter project and that's how I first became aware of them because they reached out to us. Actually Dan reached out to me back in was it 2013 or whatever and said, hey, I'm making this pen, it's really cool, is it okay if I link to you because you have so many videos about how to use pens and ink and all this kind of stuff, could I link to you in the Kickstarter just out of goodwill? And I was like, well, that's pretty cool. And I was like, hey, by the way, if this Kickstarter is really successful and you guys end up doing this long term, keep me on your radar in case you ever want to distribute your pens and you know, wholesale them to retailers like me, you know, let me know. And here we are. So now it's at the point, early 2016, where they are retailing their pens now. They're selling them direct, but they're also retailing them through uh, retailers like us. So that is why I'm now shooting this very video for you, for, to teach you a little bit about Keras Customs. So um, it's kind of cool. They got a variety of pens that are out there, but the two that we are gonna carry at Goulet Pens are the Ink and the Fountain K, because those are both the fountain pens, and fountain pens are kind of our thing. And if you want to see more full in-depth reviews of them, I've done that, you can check them out right here. Click on those and you can see the more full reviews. So the design of these pens has got this very kind of tactical feel, very industrial kind of look to them. They don't necessarily design them for this kind of modern everyday carry movement that you see, you know, EDC hashtags all over Instagram and whatnot. That definitely is a lot of who it's going to appeal to, but that wasn't, that wasn't really their inspiration. They're machinists at heart. And so it's very much kind of from that perspective of just that, you know, American made, they use a lot of locally sourced materials, all their packaging is locally sourced and recycled. So it's very that kind of, um, you know, kind of industrial, local, that, that kind of feel to it. So um, that's, uh, that's, it's very much kind of this very utilitarian uh, approach to pen making and they have uh, extremely durable pens. I mean, part of what they talk about is being able to take the pen and throw it across the parking lot and it might get a little ding and scratch up, but you're going to pick it up and still be able to write with it. So it's a pen that's really meant to be kind of tossed around and abused quite a bit. There are three different materials that these pens are made out of. They're all metal, but there's aluminum, brass, and copper. And the brass and copper are just raw metal. So they're gonna patina really nicely over time. The aluminum ones, there are some raw versions, but there's a lot of anodized colors. So it's a very durable kind of process to color those. And there's 13 different colors of aluminum pens. So that makes 15 different colors in all. In addition to that, there are five different grips that you can get to fit on these pens. And you can mix and match the grips to match whichever pen you want. That's how Keras offers it. And that's how we're choosing to offer it as well. There is a great variety of these colors and all the colors are available on both the Fountain K and on the ink. The nibs that they have are made by Bach in Germany, and you can get them an extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. And they come in a housing that just screws right into the pen, so it makes it really easy to swap 
nib units in between different pens. However, the fountain K and the ink use different nib sizes, so you can't swap nib units across the two different models. Because there's 15 different total colors of the pen body and five different grips and four different nib sizes, that is 600 different combinations that you could have for these two pen models. So in order to offer you the greatest variety as possible, we actually are going to be packaging and selling the pen in the different parts. So we're going to have the body and then the grip and then the nib unit that are all going to be separate and you get to kind of assemble the pen yourself. It's really, really easy to do. The parts just screw together. It kind of adds to part of the fun and the utility feel that you have with this pen. But just be aware that when you buy this pen from Goulet, it's going to be coming in a couple of different pieces. Now, depending on which pieces you end up getting, there are different prices, especially the brass and the copper are much more expensive. So that will add to the price significantly. But you can get anything ranging from $75 all the way up to $175, depending on which model and which color combination you end up getting. So that's a little insight into Keras Customs. We're really excited to be supporting this, you know, bootstrapped kind of American brand, very much kind of fits in uh, with the Goulet history. So I really resonate with the way that they've kind of done things and they've got a really good following already. We're thrilled to be able to represent their brand. So if you have any questions, you can ask comments on YouTube or on the blog. You can check out more on the Goulet Pen site to see product information about these Keras Customs pens. If you like this video and you want more like it, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and right on.